Parkway's taking action for you. That main engine's at 108%. AVI powered on. We're learning more tonight about this disastrous launch of an unmanned rocket. Part of the payload headed for the International Space Station was an experiment by some local students. But something obviously went haywire six seconds after liftoff from Orbital Sciences in Virginia. The rocket exploded in a fireball. It came crashing down. And launch team, launch team, be advised, stay at your consoles. Everyone in the LCC, maintain your positions in your consoles. In the LCC, maintain positions at your console. Unbelievable to watch, but that was the blast from this video posted on Instagram. No injuries are reported tonight from falling debris. NASA is paying billions of dollars to two private companies to deliver supplies to the space station. This is the first launch that ended in catastrophe. And along with the tons of equipment and supplies destined for the space station, some local students saw their science experiment go up in smoke tonight. 7 Action News reporter Jeff Vaughn is live in Madison Heights with that part of the story, new at 11. Jeff? Yeah, Stephen, good evening. Here at Wilkinson Middle School, they held a watch party for that launch. Five students here having a science experiment on that rocket. Well, tonight they are shocked and saddened, but they're learning a life lesson. And we have liftoff. The unmanned commercial supply rocket called Antares, heading to the International Space Station, exploded moments after liftoff tonight, causing a huge fireball along the Virginia coast. Evaporating with it, the science dreams of Madison Heights middle schoolers. How'd you get word? As um, soon as I came home, my mom showed me the video. And how'd you feel? I was shocked that it didn't go up and it blew up. Five Wilkinson students, including four refugee girls who designed an experiment on the effects of E. coli at zero gravity. They escaped a rock fearing religious persecution. Tanner Barndollar's mission six patch he created, which adorned the school's project, was aboard the rocket. It was hard seeing that the rocket didn't go up and my, my patch wouldn't go up to space. Tanner's patch design was only one of eight, picked from 58,000 considered for the mission. He tells me he worked on the art project for months before getting it just right. We're very proud of him um, and everybody involved in this in this project. We're very proud. Um, just a little devastating tonight, but we're still processing it. Tanner, an eighth grader, was to receive a NASA certificate that showed his patch for Wilkinson's mission made it to space. He won't be getting that, but instead, a valuable life lesson. He's got to experience ups and downs and highs and lows in life, and this is, you know, full circle. He's experienced accomplishment in uh, rewarding and winning it, and this just is, you know, it's just life. It's how it goes, but we're very happy and blessed that nobody was hurt in, in the incident. Now, tonight I did talk to a representative from NASA, and he tells me that all those future flights pretty much are booked, so there really is no chance for a redo for these students and for this school. Live in Madison Heights tonight, Jeff Vaughn, 7 Action News. Stephen Carolyn, back right. to you. A lot of broken hearts, but at least nobody was hurt. Jeff, thank you for that live yeah. report.